How's it going, Five Fans? It is Javier Cantu with SouthTexasContender.com. I'm here next to two-time world champion, Ricky Burns. Welcome on the show. Right, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. It's a pleasure, champ. Welcome to South Texas, by the way. Thank you. Now, uh, you'll be facing Omar Figueroa this Saturday, May 9th, on CBS, State Farm Arena, Hidalgo, Texas. Tough fight ahead of you, but as James Gogi mentioned, you are the toughest opponent he has faced on paper. You have a lot of world championship experience. You've been fighting for titles back since 06 or 07, I believe, the Commonwealth title, the BB of C title. Tell us about your experience. How is this going to pull you through in this fight? Um, well, you know, I've treated this fight um, exactly the same as any other. Um, I always get 110% in the gym. We don't cut any corners when it comes to preparation. Um, obviously, my experience, um, I think it is going to be a key factor in this fight as well. Um, we know, when, when the fight was first mentioned to us, we obviously we jumped at the chance. Obviously, a big fight in America. Um, although, we, we have... Up after my last fight, we moved up to 140. We found that we were making it too easy, and we wanted to move back down. But we've took this fight at 140 again. Um, but you know, like I said, preparation that's been going good. Um, I wasn't going to jeopardise fighting fighting over here um, for the sake of a couple of pounds. Um, we know it's going to be a hard fight. Omar he likes to he likes to come out, get involved, set a fast pace. He's very strong. Um, I'm sure he'll be a lot stronger. Obviously, he's moved up now. He's moved up now himself. Um, but like I said, we're prepared for all, for, for everything that we expect for this fight to bring. Um, we just can't wait to get in there. With all that experience, you face all these different type of opponents. Katsidis, Hollis Moses, Graham Earl. I mean, tons of experience, tons of fights that you have. Omar Figueroa, the switch hitter. Orthodox into Southpaw, back to Orthodox. How do you prepare for this guy? Where in your career do you look back and say, this helped me out? That helped me out. That prepared me. And what's the what's the technique and what's the game plan for him? Um, well, obviously, you can't really compare the like, other fighters to Omar. Everybody's good at their own things. Um, but when the fight was mentioned, when the fight was mentioned, obviously my my trainer Tony started working on who we were going to get for sparring straight away. We've been bringing in a good variety. Obviously, orthodox, southpaw bringing in guys a lot heavier who like to set a fast pace, like to try and sit on me, force the action. Um, so I do believe that we're going to be prepared for whatever happens on the night. Um, like I said, you said as well, um, I've been in with some, some great fighters. Um, obviously, last year I lost my world title with Terence Crawford. Um, you're not going to get a more awkward southpaw than that to fight. Um, so um, I know, you know we, we know it's going to be a hard fight, um, but... I'm, we're ready for it, we're ready for it, and I'm, I'm confident in getting the win. You're invading the U.S. for the first time, is that correct? That's right, yeah. You're also on Premier Boxing Champions on CBS for only the second time, the show that is, and you're going to be in every home in America. How does that feel? It, like I said, throughout my whole career, fighting in America is something that I've always wanted to do. Um, I think it's something that every boxer wants to do, um, well, especially in the U.K., they want to get a big fight out there. Um, obviously, I want to just I think this is a fight that the fans are going to get right into as well, and they're going to enjoy. Um, obviously, Omar's never in a dull fight. His style. Um, I'm not one to back out here. Uh, a, 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 a good bit of, bit of scrapping myself. So um, I think it's a, a fight that the fans are going to really get into. And like I said, it's a fight that I'm confident in winning, or else I wouldn't be here. You train in San Antonio for this fight. You've been here a couple well, for the past few weeks. How do you like it in South Texas compared to Scotland? Um, it's a lot warmer. Um, <laughs> do you know? No, it's, 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 by the time the fight comes, um, well, I've been out here for three and a half weeks. Um, obviously, a lot colder back home, so we came out to get used to training in the heat, the humidity. Um, the first few days, obviously, the span over here, it was tough going, um, especially when you're in the gym. Gyms are hot over here. You've got the head guards on, you feel claustrophobic at the best of times. So. Um, we're glad that we did come over for that amount of time. Um, but like I said, the sparring and that's been excellent. We've got some good rounds in. We've had sparring from I've been here. Um, it's just about now taking what we've been doing in the ring. We've been working on a few different tactics for this fight. And we want to produce that on, in the ring on fight night. You were sparring with Jerry Belmontes in, in San Antonio. That's right. How do you think Jerry Belmontes, the next opponent for, uh, for Figueroa last year, went the distance with him for the WBC belt. How do you think he helped out your camp? 
I know, well, he came up um, for my last week of sparring. Um, obviously, we get the last last week we get the 12 rounds in the Monday. We sparred, we sparred with someone else on the Wednesday, then we got a good 10 rounds in on the Friday, and then that was all my sparring finished. Um, obviously, Jerry's been, Jerry's been in with him, he's done the 12 rounds. Um, he lost on a split decision, which a lot of people thought that he won. Um, obviously, he'd beat Omar in the amateurs as well. So, um, I know it, it, it was great to meet him, and the sparring was really good as well. Obviously, it's a different, it, it's a different style for, for Omar, but um, Jerry, he, he was when we were sparring. He was setting a fast pace, trying to stand in front of him a lot. Hand speed, very good. Um, and like I said, the training and the preparations went well. I just wanted to take it into the ring now. Final question. What message do you have for Omar Figueroa and the South Texas Five fans here in the Valley? Um, no, I'd just like to say to all the fans, um, thank you for having me over here. Um, I hopefully I can go out here putting a good, good, put a good performance. Um, just show you, what, show you what I'm all about. You will see that I'm going to leave everything in the ring on the night. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a hard fight. Omar's going to get his all. He's never in a dull fight, like I said. The best man will, best man will win on the night. Good luck on Thank Saturday you. night. Thank you. Saturday afternoon, actually. Thank you. And all of you, make sure to come in. Hidalgo, State Farm Arena. If you're not able to make it out, CBS. It's not cable, guys. Tune in.